And tell me more about the coaching clinic. How did it all start? I think it was a couple of years ago, just before COVID, I think like it was something that I had in my mind. We tried to do like one or two clinics, like, you know, uh, by UCT with Astro and then, you know, just to see like how it will go. And then obviously the thing was like, you know, getting a venue of your own, like that's the most important thing because you don't want to spend money in renting, uh, hiring a venue and things like that. So then the search went on from there, like now, you know, trying to find a venue and obviously like the schools was the most easiest because a lot of the schools don't use the entire um, grounds at, at school anymore. A lot of them probably just cut it off and then the kids are not allowed even to, to go in that area. And then I checked a couple of schools, obviously, like gave them a proposal, like, you know, what the whole idea was like and things like that. And obviously the benefits from the school, for the school as well. The first, I think, four schools like didn't work out and then eventually like with the last one which is Westridge High and then there was obviously a positive outcome there and um, uh, so now I have a lease agreement at that school like which I can start my own facility there so that is like how it ended up starting and it's more like obviously for development for for kids uh, that's the main focus but also like in the same breath like because I wanted to do it in Mitchell's Plain because I come from there you know, and also have it like a community project also, like, you know, trying to help the kids, keep the kids off the streets, like those kind of things. Like I said earlier, uh, with me growing up, football was the one thing that kept me away from getting involved with, with the wrong things or wrong people. So wanting to try to help the kids, like also like in, in the surrounding areas, not only Mitchell's Plain, even on the outskirts, like and things like that. There's such a lot like, you know, that can come from this. And that's why it's, it's, it's I'm very excited about starting this thing and once it's up and running you know i think everything will just kind of fall into place yeah so is there going to be like a five side courts what exactly is the plan yeah so there will be obviously the astro courts like and things like that uh, my idea is to do two seven aside courts and then it can be converted into four fives as well because one seven aside court if you cut it in the middle it's two fives like and things so uh you know to have it like for younger players like also and older guys if they want to play on a bigger pitch you know, uh, with hiring the, the courts out, like, and things like that, they can use that. And then also, like, hopefully, like, start a, a schools league, like, and things like that, like, just the social kind of league, like, if whatever schools are interested. And, you know, run the primary school on the on the Astro courts, like, because it's a smaller field for the kids. And then high schools, like, I'll also have two full-size grass fields available there as well. And I think that will be uh, ideal for the high schools. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. it's a coaching clinic. There's fees involved. How do you cater for those who can't afford? Well, the, uh, this is the, the, the plan, obviously, like for the paid clinics, like obviously that will be a regular kind of thing, depending on like how many kids we will get and how many days we can run and things like that. And then obviously trying to get sponsors on board as well, especially in the Mitchell community. Like, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, uh, shops, supermarkets, businesses and stuff like that, that say, can somehow come and get involved, like where they can cater for something like that to and if we do get something like that, I would ideally like I would want to do like two or even three times a month to have like an open free clinic like you know for kids that cannot afford it to be a part of it like so they can also benefit from it. But I mean like I said like a lot of things obviously everything costs money and you know with the amount of money that we're already going to spend on the facility you know trying to make that free as well like it's going to be a little bit difficult so that's an important thing where I need to try to get like at least one or two sponsors on board that can cover the cost for those kids, like, you know, get them in, get them each one a meal, those kind of things, like, you know, and just have like a fun day, like maybe once or twice a month, like I said, like even three times, depending on what I have at my disposal. Of course, with a clinic like that, the next Nazi models might be... <laughs> At the training ground, what's your plan for of action for something like that? No, first, I would like I said, there's such a lot of things that I want to do and that I'm gonna do, like when everything is up and running. But that will also only be like for high school kids, like for example, for the kids between the ages of 16 and 18. I want to select a team like out of Mitchell's Plain and even like I said, surrounding areas, and have a team like that I, that I want to coach like for a period of time. And then, then arrange like a tour, like for example, like with the clubs that I played for overseas, I've already spoken to a few contacts there, like, you know, asking them how they can assist me with, if I want to do a tour. And then, you know, take them there, give them that, that opportunity, like to be able to, to experience football in a different country, different culture, lifestyle, those kind of things. And, you know, also the possibility of like being seen 
because those kind of games, like there's always scouts and things like that there. And obviously with the clubs that I played, I can always tell them like, look, you can come and watch and if there's anything that you like, hopefully like one or two of them, like, you know, can make it like I did back then. But I mean, like, like I said, like nowadays things are a little bit more easier than what it was back then. So that's why I want to try and give these guys the opportunity to showcase the talent, like, you know, at that level or a different country so that they can be noticed and hopefully like maybe uh, become successful.